Hello students, your instructor here, John Medulla, with another screencast. We are in Illustrator, and we're going to make a text wrap. This is something that's very uh, straightforward in InDesign, uh, as there's actually a text wrap feature option on your paragraph style. But here in Illustrator, you have to do a little bit of work around, but you'll see it's just as customizable and effective. So I have my text box here, text in it, and then I have my drop cap here. First thing I want to do is with this drop cap, once I've decided the font it is, because once I do this, I can't change the font without undoing some steps, I'm going to type menu create outlines. So it's like that. I can still change the color if I want. So let's say I make it this dark blue. That's fine. Now I'm going to take my rectangle tool and I'll make a rectangle that's the same size as a letter. You can see here I need to make it a little bit more this way and this way and I'll make that yellow just for making it easy to see. And I'll right click on this, arrange, send to back. Alright, so I have this in a box. Now I'm going to take both these objects and group them. So right click and group. And bring them over to left and top align them with the text box. Okay. As I can see here my text is actually overlapping this. So I'll click on the text box, right click, arrange, send to back. So again, now it's like this. But we actually need the text to wrap around this box, not go behind it. So to do that, I'll click on this group, which has the shape and the letter, and I'll go to object, text wrap, make. You can see it's already pushing it around from there. Now what if I decide, well I want my not to be that big. I can just click on this, hold shift and drag it smaller. Let's say I want it to be that big or maybe like that. Okay, so that's great. But obviously I don't want the yellow to be there. So what I do is I'm going to use my direct selection tool, the white arrow tool. Click on just the box, not the letter, just the box. And give it a fill value of none in my swatches panel over there. So now as you can see I have no attributes and to prove that. If I have a box behind all of this and I have the tan, you can see that the tan will show right through because the box has no fill color or any kind of other attributes. Now, what if you're like, well, this is great, but I actually want more or I want less space in here. Then, what you can do for that is you just use your white arrow again and you click on these anchor points of the rectangle. You can manipulate them. So if you want more space, you can just go like this. I want this one and this one. Just do that. So this will give you more cushion of space. And then you see you click off and you have all that space there. You can adjust that to be whatever you want it to be. If you actually want it to be tighter, then just click on the edge and bring it up. You know, if you wanted some kind of different effect like that. All right, so you see it's text wrapping around the shape of the letter form as well. If that's the overall effect that you want, you can get that kind of thing too. So still lots of customizability with drop caps. Um, this is a way to do it. That's all I got. Thank you. Goodbye.